All right, we are rolling uh, this morning, joined by Ben Kornowski uh, here for the Alumni Spotlight. How are we doing this morning, Mr. Ben? I'm doing well, doing well. What about yourself? Things are good, things, things are good. Um, Why don't we start with uh, high school, position you played, kind of major, some, some of those things. How'd you end up at SNC? Yeah, um, so I'm from Green Bay originally. I uh, went to Preble High School and obviously not too far away from St. Norbert. Um, didn't think I was going to end up in the area, but kind of through uh, the head coach that was prior to you for a year, he was pretty aggressive in the recruiting. And, uh, you know, after talking to you guys and seeing all the other coaches as well, meeting some of the players, um, decided that was going to be my best fit. Um, at St. Norbert, I studied business administration in Spanish and um, basically I got a minor kind of, I uh, missed out on a couple credits, so didn't get the major, but um, I was fortunate enough to study abroad. And then um, right around graduation, I did the fifth year, obviously, or the ninth semester, I guess, to play yep. football. And um, yeah, I was able to get a job offer right before I graduated and pretty much seamlessly go from college to work. So you, you, you touched on some things I wanted to ask you about. Um, let's start with study abroad. Where did where you study abroad? What, what was that experience like? Yeah, so first of all, thank you again for allowing me to do that because, you know, talking to a lot of my buddies from other schools, that wasn't even an option. And when I tell my student athlete friends from other schools that I was able to go study abroad and continue to play, I mean, they were pretty envious about that. Um, but yeah, I studied abroad in Valencia, Spain. It's on like the southeastern coast of um, Spain and right on the Mediterranean, which was beautiful. Yep. Um, I mean, it was possibly second to football, the best thing that I've done in college and one of the best things that I've ever done in my life. I mean, you immerse yourself in a new culture. I learned the language well. I was able to live with uh, an amazing host mom that, you know, didn't speak any English and, um, in, in addition to, you know, St. Norbert, basically taking care of all the financial aspects of everything except for travel. Like I was able to go to a lot of the, you know, close countries and not really spend a ton of money to go do it. It was a phenomenal semester. One of the best periods in my life so far. Yeah. And, you know, I've shared with you my times of, you know, playing football in Germany and, and playing and being a head coach in Norway and, and trying to even send some some guys from our conference over, um, you know, to play football in Europe. And, you know, I wish more guys would take advantage of the study abroad program. Yes, you miss out on spring football, but the benefits, like you said, living in another country, experiencing another culture, also coming back and appreciating what we have. Um, cause I think at times you kind of take things for granted sometimes here as well. And, um, yeah, it's def definitely, definitely some we promote and want more kids to do. Cause I think it's like, like you said, it can be a kind of a life changing experience. Absolutely. And like you said, I mean, the appreciation, like I, I had a great time every single day I was there, but you know, seeing my buddy's Snapchats and watching you guys working so hard and I was trying to maintain that as well while I was over there. Man, when I got back and I was able to practice a couple of those spring ball days at the end, I mean, yeah, almost brought me to tears. I was so pumped <laughs> up to see everyone again. So you're right about the appreciation of when we get back. Hey, you mentioned a ninth semester here. Uh, and for people that are watching this, you know, um, SNC guarantees a four-year graduation, okay? Um, but you had a ninth semester. And the reason for that was an injury. So kind of walk us through that whole experience and how you dealt with that and support you received. And um, cause obviously no one wants to, you know, take a year off and, you know, have the injuries, but what was that like for you? Yeah. I mean, the injury itself, you know, we were moving into that soft, my sophomore year, which, I mean, we ended up winning the conference championship that year. We had a great team and everyone was fired up for the year. And after I got injured, I mean, that was a, that put a huge damper on my, you know, my outlook and, uh, it was great to see all my teammates continuing to do well and, you know, winning every game. But uh, at the same time, I mean, that puts a huge mental stress on you and yep. kind of makes you feel, although you're not detached, feel a little bit detached from everything. And um, the amount of support, first of all, the, the athletic training staff is incredible. I mean, it was a surgery that doesn't have a very good um, success rate and the surgeon and then, you know, having our athletic trainers work with me on a daily basis, 
I mean, I still feel 100%, which is amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the brotherhood that we have with all of our teammates and then our coaches as well. I mean, it, it was incredible to have everyone checking in on me on a daily basis and my roommates truly caring about what I was going through every day. You know, people making sure I was all right. The people at the cafeteria helping us walk through the lines, get our food for us. I mean, right. it was absolutely incredible. And, you know, as I watched everyone else play that year and I was unable to participate like that absolutely solidified regardless of any financial impact that it would have like I was going to go back and play for that fifth year especially seeing you know the the championship win it, it was a great thing to know that my teammates you know won that but I wanted to be a part of one and right um I mean I I did that fit that final semester and it was an incredible incredible semester and I know that uh, you had a great time and I had absolutely no regrets about taking that fifth year. So, you know, again, there's going to be a lot of people watching this um, that maybe don't know to get that championship. We did. We did. Um, yeah, we, we had a phenomenal team that year. And I think that the, the relationships between everyone on that team were something I'd never seen before. It was the most yeah. close knit group of people I've ever been around. And yeah. I mean, I'm still in contact with so many of them because, you know, it's a it's a brotherhood that's hopefully going to last forever. I mean, um, yeah, that was an incredible year. Do, do you remember uh, my speech before the championship game here at, at Schneider Stadium? Oh, man, I, there are so many of them. What was the... That, that speech was about leaving your legacy and who's going to be remembered today by one play they make out on the football field. I said one... One guy's going to make a play today that is always going to be remembered here. Do you remember that? I do remember that now. I just got chills. <laughs> who, who made that play? Um, I made one of those plays. Yep. You made that play. You want, then, you want to talk about that? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, we came into the game. I mean, Monmouth was a great team, and they'd been pretty much tearing through every team in our conference. And, I mean, us – as linebackers and then with Armstrong and Vanderland, I mean, we did so much film study and then like me, Barrett, Olenek, Danny, Pat, I mean, we went in again afterward and I mean, we were putting more work in on film and right. we saw a lot of these deep dig routes that were coming when the inside guy was going out and um, it was one of the first plays of the game. And uh, I saw the guy coming in, was able to jump the route, got awesome blocking from everyone on the defense. I mean, I think we had our whole team down there and, was able to squeeze it into the end zone and yeah, six, six, baby. Up. Yep. Only touchdown of the day. Of course, we had another one that got called back. Uh, uh, you know, called us for offensive pass interference. But take a look at the film; it kind of questionable. But yeah, that was that was awesome. Um, that was a huge play, and um, you know, I want to transition here uh, a little bit. I want to talk about you know, more of your time here, some of the awards, you know, you received in, you know, a two-time academic all district. I guess, what does that mean to you getting recognition for the work you're putting in, in the classroom? That one, those meant a lot to me because, um, you know, in high school, I wasn't really academically focused. I didn't really know what my potential was in the classroom because I didn't really ever put any effort or care toward it. And, once I got to college, I realized you couldn't really just go through the motions and, um, you know, eventually becoming a leader on the team. I wanted to hold myself to a standard that if I was, I, I couldn't implement any, you know, conversation with anyone about academics if I'm not also getting my job done. And I right. think that knowing that I had to hold myself accountable to everyone else, it allowed me to really put a lot of my energy towards studying and toward the, toward the classroom. And, um, it made everything so much better as far as football and my social life and um, my after college life as well, because everything was so smooth and there was a lot less stress because I was getting my things done on a daily basis. And, you know, the reward is, or the award is just a, you know, side effect of that work. I, the process was the best part in my opinion, because yeah. I mean, it's, it's all about what you put in and no one else is going to do it for you. And it comes down to priorities and setting your priorities for, right, for what you want to achieve. And, you know, you've also received 
you know, multiple all conference awards for, you know, on the football field. Um, you know, to me, you have one of the best work ethics I've ever seen, regardless of football um, in my life. And I guess I wanted to ask you, how was that instilled or how was that built, you know, into you? Because, you know, you ask anyone, you busted your butt in the weight room, right? Obviously you got the, the work done in the classroom, the awards, the recognition, same with the football field. Uh, we'll get into what you're doing now and the success you're having now, but I guess, how was that instilled in you? How was that built in, in you? I'm going to turn my light. My lights turned off. Oh, no, Dad, no worries. Um, well, first of all, thank you for that. That that really does mean a lot. Um, you know, just growing up, I had two amazing parents that, you know, my dad, he's the hardest working person I've ever met in my life. And my mom is the more like caring, you know, that she's a teacher. She's, yep. she's, you know, they're kind of opposite ends of the spectrum, but I was able to be exposed to the great positives of both of those ends. And especially with my dad, just understanding and learning that nothing worth doing is going to pay out right now. It's always going to pay out years down the road. And, um, you know, I'd see him get up 4.30 in the morning every single day and work outside and grind every single day. And, Yep. And then we would be able to live a good lifestyle because of what they were doing. And um, it was, it was all about delayed gratification. It was about the only, the only person that makes any decision on how your life is going to be is you. And if you make these small decisions on a daily basis to align with that ultimate goal, whatever it is. And he didn't push me in football. He just said, whatever you want to do, you have to do it. And no, if you're not good at it, it's more than likely going to be the result of the work that you put in. And if, you want to be good at it. And if you see Walter Payton, Michael Jordan, those guys are paying the dividends of what they did 15 years ago. Right. And I think that that was the biggest thing that I learned from like both my mom and my dad. And I try to implement that on a daily basis, whether it's, you know, my social interactions with people, my, uh, my work, R Rudka and I are still getting workouts in at five in the morning every day. I mean, whatever it is, if you give a hundred percent and, do everything with the alignment of that final goal. I mean, you're yeah. never going to second guess yourself and you're going to always be within reach of what that ultimate, I guess, ideal is. Yep. I think sometimes people get frustrated with um, that the, they want it now, right? The instant gratification, right? right? As opposed to setting the goals and working, you know, to achieving that and no matter what the timeline is for that. So um, I guess let's transition to what you're doing now and um and why don't why don't you fill us in and then i also want you to talk about how how you kind of got aligned and got in position to you know to get this job yeah so right now um i work for a company called federated insurance basically we sell commercial insurance and then we also help out with like the business planning and the life and disability insurance for business owners um i basically have uh, my own territory which is amazing I'm not competing with any of my colleagues basically and um fortunately my hometown um territory opened up and i mean it's been great i absolutely love it and i think it goes back to the academics and being disciplined with that but um how i was able to get the job and how i guess it all aligned was you know on my linkedin first of all i was able to put all of the academics academic achievements and then also the football achievements and um, the fact that I was elected a leader uh, amongst my teammates and um, being able to put all of those things together and also analyze all of the things that we've done over those four years and be able to try to use those in the application of the real world now because we get so many useful tools right. around right. College academics and college sports. Um, and yeah, I mean, my boss reached out to me on LinkedIn we ended up meeting up a few times. I was talking to some other companies as well. And um, he was a college athlete, really good guy. Him and I matched really well. And um, basically we, we moved through everything pretty quickly. I was able to stay in my hometown for the, for the territory. And um, I have had absolutely no complaints with how things are going now. Yeah, and it, I think it's awesome. Um... You know, now it's Connor with Federated Insurance. I forgot the the previous rep, but mm -hmm. this side of the Fox River is also Zach Clarkowski, an SNC grad. Yeah, and that know. was 
Yep, I forgot to mention that. He, Zach Klarkowski, was the first person to actually throw a referral in to yeah. Connor to reach out to me. And that's another great thing. I mean, I got to line up next to Klarkowski as a freshman. Yeah. And I was scared to death of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you know, I'm able to also work alongside him. And we have yeah. such a great connection because of football, because of the things we had to go through with Coach O. And, yeah. um, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's been an awesome environment. Yeah, Connor was just up here the other day, you know, and, and I love it, you know, federated those guys stop in really meet with us as coaches and, and say, hey, who do you have? Who should we be looking at? Right. They they know the type of student athlete that comes out of here, the character that our, you know, our guys possess. And you and Zach are, are great role models and examples of that. Um, you mentioned leadership role. So here at SNC, we, you know, I believe um, the team truly knows the leadership of the team. And so we allow um, our, our players to vote for team captains. And you've been a two-time selected team captain. I guess, you know, what has that meant to you? What have you learned from that, um, uh, you know, being the captain on the team? Um, being voted that by all of my, my boys, basically, it was the biggest honor that I've ever received. And the first time, I mean, the first time I got it, it was amazing. And I think the second time might have even been a little bit more um, it felt a little bit better because it, it justified and kind of solidified that I was possibly doing some of the right things as a leader the first time around. And just being able to have all of your brothers trust you enough to be one of the four to five representatives of your team and trusting you enough to be the person that, you know, is one of the contacts between the coaches and us and the contact between um, administration and the players and having being able to be one of the voices but also be one of the people that can maybe help guide some of the either the younger guys or the guys that are struggling or whatever it is and then also it allowed me to hold myself accountable in the weight room in the classroom yep. and you know interacting with every single person whether it was in the cafeteria or out on a weekend um, it made me check myself on a you know, moment to moment basis to make sure I was always doing things that were in the best interest of everyone, or at least as I perceived it was the best interest in, in the best interest of everyone. Well, it all starts with leadership. And, and again, uh, I just believe the the players, right? The, the players are the ones that know, and obviously coaches have, have input on that as well, but to be selected a two time um, captain really, really says a lot. Um, you were also selected for the Green Knight Award, which is the only award the coaches vote on at the end of the year. And, and that award really is uh, who's the guy that that truly shows us what it means to be a Green Knight uh, from a work ethic, from in the classroom, from on the football field, from, you know, how do you how do you care and love your, your teammates? Um, what that mean to you get getting that award? I think that was the culmination of every, all of the different things that I was trying to do all through my college career. And, um, you know, I think that all of those little decisions and I think that all of the interactions and, and me doing my absolute best on a daily basis and any facet of, you know, the life that we had on St. Norbert or at St. Norbert, I mean, it was, it was an incredible honor and being able to be selected and recognized as that. I mean, especially being on a team that was as, as dominant as we were, I was extremely honored. And, you know, it, it it's a testament to everyone else on the team. And it was, a, it was a, uh, it was a great way to end my career at St. Norbert. Yeah. Well, you, you had a heck of a ride and a heck of a career. Uh, ben, it's, I wish you had more eligibility. <laughs> Me too. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it, it's, it's not shocking the success that you're having. Um, outside of St. Norbert College because it, it's you're following the same path that you did when you were here. And again, to me, it's it's the work ethic, it's the character, it's the leadership that that's what, you know, you're you're carrying with you right now. And um, it's great to see you ha still having success, knew you would, knew you, you, you still will. Um, uh, when we're done with this, we, we got to talk about lunch because I know, we, you know, we want to get together and, and do a lunch here and then I got to fill you in on some places to stop up in Surgeon Bay when you're up there selling insurance and stop by some of my guys, my old stomping grounds. So we appreciate you you coming and, and meeting with us. And any last words? All I'll say is to any 
perspective, SNC athletes, I cannot thank the school enough. I can't thank the coaching staff enough. The environment was absolutely incredible. The cafeteria is unreal. I mean, if you're trying to get big, <laughs> that's, that's the place to do it. Weight room's incredible. The people are incredible. Um, I have nothing but great things to say about the school, and that's 100% transparent. If you're considering going there, give it a solid shot, and um, I, I promise you, you won't regret doing it. Great words of advice. We appreciate you coming and, and uh, meeting with us today, Ben. Thanks, Coach.